Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids. Now, Apple have just announced their new smartwatch, the Apple Watch. Now, for the first time in the history of Apple, they've sort of confused me because there's three different versions of the Apple Watch. One of them is just called Apple Watch, one of them's called Apple Watch Sport, and the other one's called Apple Watch Edition. So three different versions and varying very slightly in the materials they're made of. It seems like the feature set is the same, but the materials differ slightly. And of course, I think the price will differ slightly as well. Now it starts at $349, and it's not gonna be available until next year, so not until 2015. So is it worth waiting for? Well, it's got some absolutely fantastic features. I'm just looking at some of my notes here. We've got two fitness apps. Uh, one to sort of track your uh, activities like walking etc and one that is a workout app and the workout app that gives you real-time stats such as calories time distance and pace for your workout so two very distinctive applications but there's also loads of other apps available for the watch as well and it actually utilizes the little sort of dial on the side. So when you've got a, a classic watch that you would wind up with the winder, this is utilized in the Apple Watch as well to actually zoom you in and out of the screen and to interact with the display. Very, very clever. Now, the other things that they also announced for the watch is a new watch kit, which is gonna allow development of applications. The applications that they actually demonstrated were more like notifications with extra features so for example the twitter app gave you a notification when a tweet came in and you could either retweet it or favorite that tweet but if you went directly into the twitter app you could actually tweet from your apple watch very very cool indeed now we've also got maps built into the watch and you can use that dial on the side to zoom in and out It'll also sort of give you location and directions, and also even the ability to remind you where you've parked your car. And then with regards to messages, sort of iMessages and text messages, you can respond to those with either a quick reply or with an emoji style sort of icon, or you can even actually talk and narrate your reply as well. Very, very cool. Now they also showed all the different watch faces. Obviously the smart watches that are available now from other manufacturers, you can change the watch faces very, very easily. But yet again, Apple took this to the next level because not only have you got different design watch faces, but you can interact with them as well. One of the demonstrations they gave of one of the interactive watch faces was a picture of the globe or the earth. And it would actually show your location. And then you could also move across to the moon and use the dial again to show the different states of the moon sort of in the future. Very, very cool, really, really nice. A bit of fun, obviously, that sort of thing, if you use it a few times, probably the uh, sort of gimmick will wear off, but very nice that they've taken the time, excuse the pun, to at least build in some extra interaction into the watch faces that they've designed for the Apple Watch. Now on the back of the watch, it looks equally as good as the front. Really very, very sexy looking. Infrared sensors with LEDs on them, so it gives you some sort of feedback as to what they're doing. And these work alongside photo sensors to detect your pulse rate. Now not only that, but also we have got some sort of conductive wireless charging. I sort of missed the exact details about this, but it will charge wirelessly. They didn't talk about battery life, so that's the only thing I'd didn't hear them mention. So at the moment, I can't get excited about that. I would hope that it will last at least a day. And ideally, if they can get the battery life to two days, that'd be absolutely amazing. Now, one of the things that really struck me as being a, a real positive note is not only the design, but the curves of the watch and the material choices they made as well. They really do look top notch. And I love the variety of straps. My only disappointment is there are three different versions and that leaves me being a big fan of Apple products, not knowing which one I should go for. You know, am I gonna like one better than the other? Am I gonna wish I opted for one of the other versions when I've actually got one in my hand? So a very difficult purchasing decision for somebody who loves Apple's design ethics and Apple's products. So one last thing to mention on the new Apple Watch it's going to be compatible with both the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus, which is obviously a given, really. 
But the good news is it will also work with the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5C, and the iPhone 5S. It won't work with anything before that. Now, Apple also launched earlier details of their new Apple Pay system that works with the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 6 Plus. But the great news is that it also works with the Apple Watch. So when you go into a shop to pay for something, you can actually just tap your watch on the payment system and make your payment. Now, I mentioned in my previous video about the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, that Apple Pay would most likely be rolling out in America first. I was right on that fact, but Apple have also said that they will be rolling it out to other countries very soon. I'm super excited about this announcement. It means I can probably retire my Fitbit Flex, which has been my fitness tracker of choice over the past couple of years. And I'm just so looking forward to getting an Apple Watch on my wrist. Thank you very much for joining me for these bonus videos today. Let me know in the comments section below what you think of Apple's new announcement and whether you'll be getting an Apple Watch. I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see another video of mine, please do click the annotation on the top of your screen now. And also, you can click the annotation on the bottom of your screen and subscribe to the Geekanoids channel. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all again next time.